Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to the Spill Sesh Sunday special. Oh my goodness, guys, I feel like I have been talking in a non-stop circle about the Ace family. And today we are talking about everything except the Ace family. So we are going to start right off by talking about the Dobre brothers. And if you guys remember last week, this was a big, big deal. And I was going to update you guys on what happened earlier this week but then all the ace family drama happened so i couldn't do that but if you guys don't remember the Dobre brothers were accused of being super rude to their fans because at a meet and greet they were just sitting and super bland and boring and this little girl came to the meet and greet on her birthday mind you their meet and greet is literally six hundred dollars $200 or like $75. Those are the package prices. And they couldn't have cared less. They were just super unenthused. She came in and she left like they could barely smile for the photo. The video was everywhere and a bunch of YouTubers were recreating it. They were making fun of the Dobre brothers. They were just in some seriously hot water after this. So one of the brothers apologized on Twitter and then the other brothers just sort of retweeted what he said, but they said that they were tired and it had been a long day and that was no excuse at all. But it turns out that they ended up FaceTiming the girl in the video, and this is what they said to her. Supporting us, that really means a lot to us. And again, happy belated birthday now. Thank um, you. Um, and, you know, we just wanted to kind of talk about stuff and just tell you how grateful we are that you support us and you came out of your way to come to our show and just be there for us. You know, we don't want to apologize um, if you didn't have the experience that you wanted. Um, I did. It's okay. Yeah. I actually had really fun. I actually had like fun. That's good. We're glad you had a lot of fun. Um, and we just, you know, the way we were, there, there was no excuse for that, and we just sincerely, sincerely, and genuinely wanted to apologize for that, and we didn't want to bring it, you know, apologize on social media as much because. So I'm not sure if it's her dad or what. But the person that posted this TikTok video of her FaceTiming the boys said that they were going to pay to fly her out to the next show in North Carolina the following weekend and they were going to pay for the hotel and everything. So that would have been this weekend and yesterday they did end up meeting her again. They were making sure they were all smiling in the photo. She looked really happy. I couldn't believe that it was her birthday when she met them the first time and that she was like, I still had fun. I mean, this little girl is precious. It does upset me that they did FaceTime her and they seemed pretty fake about it. I mean, it's not like they were gonna FaceTime any of the other fans that took pictures with them that day. It's just because they got caught and that she was the one that went viral, but I'll take it that they were being nice. But honestly, guys, I'm not sure if the Dobre brothers just don't like meet and greets and are rude, or they're just super awkward because a lot more people have been coming forward with their meet and greet photos with the Dobre brothers, and they look so awkward, especially the ones where they're standing and the person taking the picture with them is just like standing a foot away from them. It's so weird. We will definitely be talking a lot more about James Charles and Morphe and all of that stuff later on in the video, but I have to say since we're on the topic of the Dobre brothers, James Charles, as we know, was very vocal about how he felt the Dobre brothers treated their fan at the meet and greet and James Charles had his very own meet and greet this weekend where he did recreate meeting the fan and he really 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 threw shade by also tweeting out a video of him recreating their meet and greet experience as well as copy and pasting their apology as the caption. Lucas Adobre even responded to the video by saying, we all make mistakes but it's up to us to own our mistakes and make things right when God gives us a second chance. We love you Kylie and James. I'm sure you know what it's like feeling like the whole world is against you. Under that, he also posted a video of them meeting Kylie again and kind of mocking themselves so it's like all the brothers and they're just monotonely sitting there like they were in the original and the girl comes in and all of a sudden they just hug her it's 
weird that they're mocking themselves, but uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Anyways, we are moving on to Jacqueline Hill. She finally gave us the update about what happened to her, why she was uprooted, and it turns out that her AC leaked in her Orlando home and everything is messed up. She has to get the ceiling replaced and instead she's going to be renting out this million dollar mansion in LA until her home can get fixed. I'm not gonna say more than that. I honestly don't care what kind of house she's living in, but a lot of people were actually giving Jacqueline a lot of hate on the internet this week, and James Charles really came to her defense. I mean, people were saying Jacqueline was pregnant, she's fat, she's immature. She posted a photo of herself in a shopping cart and people were just attacking her. And I really do appreciate that James Charles was able to come to her defense. I mean, that just shows you that sometimes as nasty as this community can be, the beauty community, a lot of the times they can come together and it can be all right. Jacqueline posted a screenshot of her comment section on Instagram that was saying, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Because I just watched James Charles video and girl, you are starting to show. And what happened was earlier this week, James Charles is actually going to be doing PR packages for his mini eyeshadow palette that is coming out. And he made a stop at Jacqueline's new LA home that she's renting. And he put it on his Instagram story. And a lot of people were like, attack. Jacqueline again saying that she was pregnant. Jacqueline posted these comments and she said, even after my video, it doesn't stop. Please understand that I'm not complaining, but simply bringing awareness to this. It's so incredibly rude and hurtful to log on every day and see comments like this. When I'm pregnant, I'll let you know until then. And Jacqueline said, this is my sweatshirt, not my actual stomach. Now, since we're already talking about the beauty community, let's dive into Tati Westbrook. Now, I don't know how many people actually watch Tati that watch my channel, but she announced that she is coming out with her eyeshadow palette. And let me tell you, a lot of people may think that Tati is relevant and that the only time she was ever going to shine was during the Coachella drama, but this eyeshadow palette looks like every girl's dream that only uses normal nude colors or shimmers. I mean, I have watched Tati for a while and I really trust and know that she's gonna come through with this eyeshadow formula. I'm really excited for her. A lot of people felt like this kind of came out of nowhere, but I'm pretty excited to get my hands on this and see what it is really going to be like. She is launching Tati Beauty. So this is going to be all Tati. She's not working with Morphe. I'm super excited to see how this actually goes on. And then we are going to be talking about James Charles. And while we're sort of on this topic, we're going to be talking about Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. As you guys know, James Charles announced he is going to be collabing with Morphe once again on the anniversary of his big palette to create a mini version of the palette with a compact mirror, all the same colors and everything. A lot of people were questioning him because he said that they had been working nine months on this and they didn't understand why it took nine months to shrink something down and make something mini. And a lot of people were just like, why didn't you make a new palette? Like I said last week, I'm pretty excited about the mini and James Charles has just been trolling all of the haters. I don't know what he was drinking this week, but he has got some sassiness in him by saying he's coming out with this medium palette because people are just so annoyed by the fact that he is coming out with a mini. James tweeted, really excited to announce that next week I will be launching a medium sized James Charles X Morphe palette. Perfect for in between time when you're not traveling, but also not at home. It'll be so good. I've been working on it for the last 29 months. So hope you enjoy. And then someone said 29 months. And he said, so much work has went into this. It's insane. Someone else said, is it the same shades? And he said, yes, same exact beautiful formula, just in medium size. Someone else said, oh, thank the Lord. I was starting to feel like the other two weren't convenient enough. He said, right? This one should really be perfect for everyone. I really like that James can kind of mess with people and he kept on doing it by saying, but wait, 
If you're excited about the XL palette, just wait until the XL brush set launches. You guys seriously need this in your kit and it's literally broomsticks. I mean, <laughs> James is just trolling and honestly, I'm kind of here for it. It's pretty funny. That's one way to deal with the haters if you're ever going to. Now, there is a little bit of drama because Shane posted the fourth video in his series with Jeffree Star. This episode was titled The $20 Million Deal with Jeffree Star. Now, in this episode, we really didn't get a lot of tea or any drama, nothing crazy happened. We actually went back in time. So last week we were at April because that is when the robbery happened. And then all of a sudden in this episode, we were back in March. So I was just a little confused as to if something had happened and Shane needed to cut something out because of legal reasons or he didn't want to do a very dramatic series anymore. He didn't want to give us the tea. I really thought we were going to get to Coachella because Coachella is in April and in May is really when drama get into happen. So maybe we'll get that next week. I'm just really not sure if we're really going to be getting drama. It seems like we're never really gonna see what happened after the trailer where he showed Morgan and how she was going on these beauty influencer trips and she was talking about how someone didn't know who Jenna Marbles was and that they were being really fake about it. I feel like after that trailer, he had to cut whatever storyline that was and now he's no longer doing trailers so that he isn't feeling like he needs to cover anything up or have us question what's going on um and i always have a lot of thoughts and opinions and some people don't like it <laughs> the truth sometimes hurts trust me it's hurt me it's hurt <laughs> but the truth and i think that this industry needs a little awakening a lot of people are afraid some people don't want to play along but at the end of the day me and shane wanted to create something that had never been done before and do something different because the beauty industry girl Anyways, guys, during this episode, Morphe is on the phone with Shane and Jeffrey, and they are having a business meeting to talk about how many units they're going to order of the palette and the glosses, everything in between. They're talking big money. That's why it's a $20 million deal with Jeffree Star as the title. So in this episode, they are on the phone with the Morphe exec, and they're talking about the date of the release. Now, they did tell us that the official release is going to be November 1st, and they said they did not want to do it in October because October is associated with Halloween. And if you do release it in October, people will only think you can use it in October and that it's not everyday use. And doing it on November 1st gives it like a holiday, classier vibe to it. And I honestly agree. I thought they were going to release it on Halloween, but then I feel like none of the packaging or the theme would have gone because the next day would have been November and the theme just wouldn't have been there anymore. So I'm really happy that they decided to make that business decision. I think it was a really smart move. But while on the phone with Morphe, she says that they have an anniversary project that they're working on for James Charles around that time. And that's why they're a little hesitant about the launch date. So I'm not too sure if Jeffrey and Shane ended up stealing James Charles's launch date because they're launching November 1st. And the original James Charles X Morphe reveal was announced on November 2nd, which would make the anniversary November, not October. And we're saying that the anniversary is in October for this release. It's just a little fishy. But it seems like Shane and Jeffrey definitely got the good end of the deal here, where their palette will be kicking off the holiday sales, the holiday season, while James Charles' palette is kind of just going at this underwhelming rate where they're going to just sell it in October, and that's going to be that. And I do think that they threw a little shade at James Charles at least in this episode, because they said that palettes to come out in October just are tacky and not cute at all for marketing or longevity of the sale. And obviously James Charles had his palette come out in October and well, now we know how they feel about palettes to come out in October. Anyways, while we're talking about Morphe, there was some drama this weekend with James Charles and Morphe because his palette did 
come out this week on the 15th and he was having a meet and greet in Los Angeles to commemorate the fact that his palette was launching and there was a lot of drama that went down with it. So this was a lottery meet and greet. You couldn't pay for the meet and greet or wait in line. You had to sign up on his Instagram or I believe the Morphe website. And they would email you if you got to meet James Charles. Well, I don't know what went wrong in the Morphe system, but they first sent an email saying, you get to meet James Charles. And then immediately after they were like, oops, I meant to send this one, where it's like, sorry, you're not gonna meet James Charles. And that's kind of heartbreaking, especially if you're a diehard fan of James. And a lot of people were really upset about it. It seemed like I heard a lot that James was actually blocking people that were trying to talk to him about what was going on. But Morphe did give out gift cards or gift receipt like gift certificates to anybody that didn't get to meet james charles that received a really disappointing email which honestly i'll take it because then you can just buy his palette at a really discounted price anyways guys that's pretty much most of the craziness that happened in the beauty world let me know how you guys feel about all of that and i will talk to you guys in my next video i hope you guys have a great rest of your week i love you guys so much and i will talk to you guys soon bye guys